Across the bay, just over there, in Oakland, another dynasty, the Golden State Warriors, who are looking to win their third straight NBA championship, and in their way, the Toronto Raptors. People, very festive, to say the least. Uh, they had Canadian food, they had an amazing spread here, Kevin everyone fed. It was on the house, paid for by the government of Canada. Tim Hortons came in to help out as well. And people here are in a great mood. Let's check out what the mood's like at Tim Hortons Field. They're already feeling pretty good for the Ticats winning their first game of the season. Doug, how's everyone doing? He likes it when someone bails on plans, especially if that person is kind of like that new one in the crew and everyone's still trying to get to know them. Kyle said after that, leading into game three and four in Oracle, that he plays better on the road and he proved exactly that. And then the Raptors, they whooped the Warriors in Oakland. So I feel like these guys, they like playing uh, with their backs against the wall. And as uh, some of those fans at Jurassic Park said, they did so against uh, Philly in Game 7 and the Bucks in Game 6. And they're going to just have to do it again here. Toronto FC midfielder Sebastian Giovinco has been a superstar since the reigning MLS Cup champs signed him back in 2015. But you know what? I've always wondered, uh, while he just terrorizes defenders in North America, why hasn't he suited up for his home country of Italy? Well, he's set to suit up for the Azzurri very soon. Sayujiri showed his human side a lot, talking about the pressure that he goes through personally after going through a deal like this. We usually have the best seat in the house right now for the next 15 minutes or so before the uh, Blue Jays PR kicks us off. One of those jet suits, uh, not exactly a sport yet, more like something you would do on holiday, uh, albeit a very expensive holiday, half a million dollars, come on. But speaking of vacations, McMaster football head coach Greg Knox was ordered to take an involuntary temporary vacation, or in other words, suspended a one-point game for the Marauders and do it, doing it. And he launches another one, fighting Neil again. I'm not entirely sure if he watches Odell Beckham highlights on the regular, but that guy's got some pretty nice hands. Moments after DeMar DeRozan was traded, the words cold and snake were thrown around on social media by some NBA players. But today, Raptors president Masai Ujiri seemed like none of those things. In fact, he looked very human. Just two hours after stepping off a plane from Kenya, Toronto Raptors president Masai Ujiri started his newser on a very Canadian note by saying sorry. I apologize uh, to DeMar DeRozan for um, maybe a, a gap of uh, miscommunication. At the time, um, we, we were fourth on the, on the ranks of, of, of trying to get anything done. But eventually, something did get done. The Ujiri traded the lifelong Raptor to San Antonio for Kawhi Leonard. And although DeRozan was beloved, after yet another frustrating playoff exit, Ujiri says he'd had enough. When I took the job, I could have let the coach go. I could have uh, traded players, but uh, we kept giving a chance and giving a chance. And uh, at some point, you know, like we have to do something different. And Leonard is different in the best way possible. When healthy, he's regarded as one of the top players in the league. No nonsense basketball player that plays um, uh, on both sides of the floor and produces a championship player. The term, it's a business, comes up a lot. However, earlier today, Masai Ujiri showed his human side a lot, talking about the pressure that he goes through personally after going through a deal like this. There's also the human side uh, of this business, and um, that's, the, that's the part I, I really struggle with the most, and that's, that's what's most difficult. Especially when business interferes with friendships on the team. <laughs> have you heard from Kyle Lowry at all since all these moves have been made? Uh, I haven't. I haven't talked to Kyle. Uh, I'm sure Kyle is. Uh, uh, I'm sure this is hard on him. One of his best friends in the world. You know, like they did everything together. It was uh, the dynamic duo of the Toronto Raptors for years. It appears Ujiri's heartfelt words didn't sit well with now former Raptor Demar Derozan. Moments after the newser, DeRozan Instagrammed this facepalm emoji over a black background. All right, now, don't think for a second that these feelings that Masai put out to the reporters is going to really get in his way and he needs to make a deal to make his team better. He said that if someone comes up with a trade proposition to his team and it'll actually help them win more games next year, he will not hesitate.